Hello. Today I would like to do a tutorial on how to make a Hello World application in Java. And I'd also like to, if I have time, uh, show a few variables and how to display those variables and combine variables. So I already have my Java project created. If you are using Notepad or Notepad++, you want to go ahead and create a file, but if you're using Eclipse, you want to right-click on your project and go to New Class. I'm going to call this class Hello World. I'm going to get rid of the public here that Eclipse puts in there. And this is what you should have inside of Notepad. Now, this here needs to match the file name. If it is off, it would generate an error when you try to compile it. So this is basically calling the Hello World application. Now, unless you're doing a servlet or an applet, we're going to uh, put this in here. This is the main statement that gets executed first inside of the program. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and and if I save this and run it, I get hello world. Simple enough. This is probably in tutorial see all over the place, but so now let's say you have a variable. So let's say let's define a variable. Now the one thing in Java, uh, one thing I, I I found strange, a lot of people would like, uh, is in Java you have to tell the tell the application or Java what type of variable this is. If it's a string, an integer, a boolean, uh, you know, you need to let it know that. It doesn't automatically detect it. So we're going to do, say, hello. That's the variable name. And... So now we have that variable there. We can replace this with that. We can hit save and run, and we get hello world. Basically, whatever all your stuff needs to go, whatever you're printing need in this statement on this line needs to go inside these two parentheses. So let's say we had two variables. We'll call this one my name. Oops. Yeah, we'll put there in my name. So, what you would want to do is you would want to use the plus sign. Now, inside the parentheses here in the print line uh, statement here, this plus is not a dish. It's somewhat like addition, but it's not like adding numbers or things like that. It's concatenating. So we're going to do my name. Let's go ahead and save that. Run that. Hello, world, John Costanzo. Now you're noticing here, wait a minute, there's no space here. Okay? To do this, let's throw that in there. That's what you need to do. Uh, you do you print out to say hello. You concatenate a space with in between two double quotes. You just hit the space bar, and that'll add a space. So now if I save it, run it, you could also do something like my name is hello world. My name is John Costanzo.
So let's throw, let's throw in here, let's define another variable. We'll call this, this is going to be an integer. And we'll call this one age. Well, actually, we'll say my age. And that is equal to twenty-eight. This, of course, is not my age, but I'm just making. Well, yeah, no, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to throw in another variable. This variable is going to be called a boolean. And we're going to call this um, the truth. And it's going to say equal false. Now you'll notice with the integer type variable and the boolean variable, there's no double quotes or single quotes or anything around it. Uh, that is not needed in Java. Those Double quotes are for strings, single quotes are for characters. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this here. We're going to do system.out.println. What I'll do is my age. And we're going to then call my age. Plus the truth and save that and we're going to run it hello world my name is John Costanzo is my age 28 false probably didn't put that in the English way the best way but you kind of get the point of where I'm getting at here you basically said is my age you added it and this backslash n basically gave me a new line so instead of ending it and creating another system.out.print line, I just did a backslash n. So, um, you know, we could do. There you go. Now I did the proper English. but So that's pretty much it for now. Um, you kind of get the logist here of where the basics of Java are. If you have any questions, go ahead and please comment, rate uh, the video. And if you like my video or videos, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.